All right, welcome back. February 18th, 2022, this plane crashed here. You can see the front end is crushed. The pilot, single pilot, was uh, injured. They took the battery out. They saved this aircraft. No fire, no fuel, as we can see. But, yeah, the crushing of this front end, the crushing of this cockpit, most likely the pilot was uh, injured based off what we're looking at. And it was this Piper PA-28-161, a Warrior II. Uh, you can see the tail number there. It was recently painted. And it happened at this Ernesto uh, Airport here in Colombia. And I believe it was uh, upon approach. So somewhere in this greenery, uh, looking at the pictures. And then again, here's the aft section of the aircraft. But I hope the pilot is okay because this is substantial damage. Okay, moving on. So we got these uh, guys here. They're in their silvers. These are called proximity gear. Um, they're pulling hand lines. There was an engine uh, fire to the number two engine. And these uh, these silvers, they're 90% uh, reflective to radiant heat. And then also they can withstand ambient temperatures up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is kind of what our fuse is. Or we're kind of moving away from it now in the United States. But um, around the world, you'll see these silvers. And so what they're doing here is this is the, the vehicle. So they're going to come here and they're going to pull these hand lines from this first. This is what the firefighters are going to do. So you can see the nozzle here. They're going to go ahead and pull that out as the firefighters did. Once this, this valve gets pulled, then water is going to start flowing. And as a driver, you're going to come here to the pump panel. You're going to go ahead and turn on that green button right there, which is telling the truck that we want to take control of the vehicle from this panel. And then you can turn the blue light is for water. That yellow uh, switch is for foam. And then looking at our gauges, we're going to watch our RPM and our PSIs and make sure we give them enough pressure to fight the fire. And that's pretty much what the driver's doing. And then looking at our water levels, it'll decrease here so we can understand what how much water we have in the truck, which is about 1,500 gallons. Meanwhile, the firefighters is going to try to separate the fire from the aircraft. So you're going to protect the path of egress, and you're going to go ahead and push. We're using water here, but you would use foam. And go ahead and use that sweeping motion to sweep that uh, sweep the f the fuel and fire away from the aircraft and the passengers. So that's kind of how that works. But here's the aircraft. Here it was a Piper PA-31-35, a Navajo Chieftain. Um, you can see the tail number there, Charlie Charlie Papa November Oscar. And this was a medic aircraft with a fire into this number two engine and those uh, firefighters uh, put this out uh, quickly. But yeah, that fire to the number two engine, they had to go ahead and put this thing down safely, no injuries. And then you can see that foam just in case, keep the area cool and safe uh, and protect any of that unignited fuel if there is any on the ground. And it happened at this uh, kind of desert air airport here, Atacama Desert Airport in Chile. And then if you missed my last video, you can watch it here. Um, if not, this is Arfa Amkioni. I'll see you guys next time.